Hello and welcome everybody to the Unicorns. Now that's quite a bold name. The Unicorn Casino. The Unicorn Chips. So I guess these are the best chips ever. Done. All right. See you guys later. Or are they? Maybe we should have a little look here and you can decide for yourself. Everybody will have a different opinion about poker chips. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But first, I'm going to deal myself a hand. And we're going to play a little hand and see how these things look. So we're going to burn a card here. See, look, sharp edges. Hard to slide cards underneath with the leather on a leather playing surface. Do you guys play on leather? This happens to be some sole leather for shoes. Long story. And we have the flop here. Nothing too scary right there. Obviously, this is just for fun. We're testing chips here. Oh no, I dropped a card. That was my burn card for the river here. So I'm just gonna put this right over because that burn card's on the floor. I need to go fetch that one second. All right. And there we go. Let's see what I have. Let us know what you have in the comments below. Something amazing? Oh, I got, look at that. I had a six. That's absolutely amazing. These cards are Modiano. I have the case around here somewhere. But putting those aside, we are going to focus on the chips. Now, I guess the first thing that I like to do is get the technical stuff out of the way. So we're gonna weigh them right here. We're gonna try this live weighing thing. It seems to work pretty well. A couple of individuals, grams right here. 8.4, should be right around eight, yeah, eight and a half, 8.4 grams. Well, what about a real casino chip? How much does a real casino chip weigh? About one and a half grams more, not a big deal. So, you know, it's I'm always skeptical when companies advertise casino, real casino weight. But what about casino size? We should measure that as well. We are in millimeters. Looks like it's zeroed out properly. And let's see how these measure up. So a 40 millimeter chip. Casino chips usually are referred to as 39 millimeter chips. And there we go, 39 millimeters. So in this instance, that is what we've measured. So we're looking at some 40 millimeter chips. Now these are what I would consider the next gen material. If you guys haven't watched my videos, the next gens are kind of interesting because they're solid plastic. They have square edges, so they will stand on end if you're interested in tricks or whatever. My table right now is not really stable, and so kind of on a leather surface here. But you can see the sharp edges. They do stand on end. And there is no metal weight. There's no metal slug. These are just kind of a heavy plastic, and you saw the weight. So an interesting interesting chip. I like these because they're not too heavy. When you get like an ABS metal slug chip, these can get pretty heavy. So for me, these seem really nice. And it's been hard to find the next gen branded chips made of this same material. You can still find some Roman Times, which is a competitor, which is something that you may want to consider. You can see I only have the ones here. And when we're going to talk about price, which we're going to do right now, I'm going to roll up a picture of the rest of the denominations. You can find the unicorn casino chips at pretty good prices. Nothing that makes me run around screaming in my neighborhood, you need to buy these, but they're okay. So now we need to talk about the look. I'm glad that we have something new and refreshing. Yes, they're available on Amazon. Yes, I'm an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases, but I purchased these chips that you see in front of the camera with my own money. and. I like the mold. You can see right here, unicorn with a picture of a spade here. Same on the other side, unicorn molded into the chip. And I like the edge spot pattern, the brown and blue on the one. It looks really clean. It looks nice. And they feel nice too. The label, like right here, can you see this little imperfection in the label? With any kind of less expensive chip, you're gonna find some imperfections in the label like that. It looks like there's a little bit of glue or a little piece of plastic or something stuck under this label. But at the making of this video, I haven't had any of these labels come off and I don't see any peeling off. 
So it seems okay for now. If you want to read updates or type out an update, go to the comments below. That's a good place to find out what, you know, people who have bought these and played with them, the longevity of these chips. It's a good place to find out about that. So I wanna talk about feel a little bit here because they do have these sharp edges. They are, and I need to do this too, the flatness testing. You can see they're not perfectly flat. A lot of that has to do with imperfections in the labels, the way that things get caught underneath there, or they'll overlap onto the chip itself. So they're not gonna be perfectly flat, but they are reasonable to shuffle. So the sharp corners make it feel very, what's the word I'm looking for, exacting when it comes to shuffling. They're not like smooth, worn in, broken casino chips, but they do feel <laughs> like, Nice, you know, they have nice sharp edges on them even when you're shuffling. They have a good texture. They seem to stack pretty well. Uh, they're not super slippery. So overall, these are some very reasonable chips. If I were looking for a new set of chips, first set of chips, these would be high on my list. Now, something else that I've done before, and I'm curious about these, the next gens I could break in my fingers. Ah, this one is not breaking in my fingers. So anyway, that seems pretty durable. It does flex a little bit, but I'm not seeing a break. So there you have it. I mean, would I go out and get these over other discount chips? I really think I might. These Unicorn is a friendly, <laughs> it's a relatively friendly, Term, right? They make kids shows about unicorns. We, you know, there are other definitions, and it's just interesting. You know, the unicorn casino idea. I don't mind these. I'd wonder how high they would be on my list compared to some of my other favorites. Uh, to help us determine that, I'm going to move these aside. I'm going to do a little sound test here. Here are some Monte Carlos. Here are some Nevada Jack ceramics, and here are some real casino chips. And we're going to do a little sound test and compare the Unicorn Casino Chips to each of these. That was the Paulson Top Hat and Cane Casino Chips. Here are some Nevada Jack ceramics. The ceramic sounded brighter to me. Monte Carlo ABS Metal Slug Chips. They sound like ABS Metal Slug Chips. I hope the camera, I hope the microphone picks that up. So let me know your thoughts. Unicorn Casino Chips, they're pretty affordable. They're a good option looking for a first set of chips. These are in that entry level price range. Let me know your thoughts, Unicorn Casino Chips. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. I am an Amazon associate. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.